Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to now. Family friendly. This video, I'm going to censor that because good news, we are keeping things family friendly now. Just because I want the YouTube algorithm to favor my channel once again. Because you see, no one's watching my stuff anymore. I've had this problem for quite a few months now, but it's even worse now. Only like. 1,500 people are watching my videos now, every video, so that's quite alarming. So, never mind. That was just a joke, by the way. So, not family friendly stuff. We are going to do Taylor series stuff once again today. And we are going to calculate our first radius of convergence today for the exponential function. What's the radius of convergence? Well, if you plug a little value into your Taylor series, for example, in your series expansion, we don't want the series expansion to explode to infinity, otherwise it would just diverge. So we want to find out all the values, which are the radius of convergence, where our, well, Taylor series would converge. For this, we are going to make use of one theorem out of many. Uh, you can use Cauchy, Hadama, or many different ways to do so, but we are just using the, well, ratio test. You have learned in your cake one class for example so let's take a look at the exponential function at first so x of i don't know lambda this time is nothing but the infinite series expansion um, of lambda to the nth power over n factorial and you see a series is nothing but the infinite summation of many many sequence members where those are our sequences a n for example and the ratio test is as follows we are going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of well a n plus one over a n that's why it's called the ratio test and if this ratio is strictly less than one well then this thing converges absolutely at that so we want this condition to hold and why not plug all the sequences into here so for a n plus one we are just going to plug an n plus one into here and for a n we are just going to use well this sequence right here you see so then we have the limit as n approaches infinity of well we have the absolute value of lambda to the n plus one power over n plus one factorial over and now we have lambda to the nth power over n factorial so this looks quite like a mess but everything is going to cancel out quite nicely so this and that is going to cancel out to lambda to the first power so that's the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of just lambda to the first power this is just lambda and now we would have n factorial that's complex fraction over n plus one factorial but n plus one factorial is nothing but n plus one times n factorial so the n factorials <laughs> little reference are going to cancel out to just well over n right here you see n is element of the natural numbers strictly element of natural numbers so the absolute value of a natural number is just the natural number itself so let's get rid of this right here and now what is going to happen if n approaches infinity well this fraction is going to get smaller and smaller. So this overall, it doesn't matter which value for lambda you plug in, a complex value, a real value, it really doesn't quite matter. This fraction is always going to go to zero in the limit when n approaches infinity. And well, that means our radius of convergence, so all the absolute values of lambda, is just infinity. So it really doesn't matter what value you plug in, it's always going to converge for every value. And that's it. So the radius of convergence is infinity in this case. It doesn't matter what you plug in. Yeah, and that's basically it. Like I said, there are many more theorems out there you could make use of, but that's the easy choice, I guess, for most Taylor series expansions. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, recommend the channel if you like. Make sure to activate the bell button and to share those videos everywhere. It really helps the channel out. I just want my videos to get a bit more recognition because it's really annoying. I have 30k subs now and yeah, only like 5% of the people are watching my stuff now. It's really quite weird. Maybe it's just not interesting enough. I don't know. Like hell I care. I I do care, I wouldn't talk about it if I wouldn't care, but well, I just like making videos for you guys and yeah, well, that's it then, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Up until the next video, have a flammable day, I guess. Ciao.
könntet ihr einfach das machen, was ihr vorher schon gemacht habt. 